Uh, before going uh, into the clinical features, let us talk about the incubation period. Okay. Uh, we have a mnemonic F BOM that is falciparum, falciparum, vivax, vivax, ovil and malaria, ovil and malaria. Okay. Incubation period increases in the same order of the mnemonic. Okay. Uh, for falciparum, uh, the incubation period is 12 days. For vivax, it is 14 days. Ovil, it is 17 days. And for malaria, it is 28 days. Okay. And erythrocytic cycle, erythrocytic cycle also in, uh, also increases in the same order. Okay. Erythrocytic cycle also increases in the same order. 48 hours, 48 hours for falciparum and for vivax, 48 hours. For ovil, 50 hours. And for molary, it is 72 hours. 72 hours. Okay. Uh, we have already discussed that the relapse, relapse occurs in Plasmodium vivax and uh, Plasmodium ovin. Okay. Uh, due to the exoerythrocytic, exoerythrocytic cytokine. Okay. Recurrence, recurrence. Recrudescence occur in the Plasmodium falciparum and Plasmodium malaria. Plasmodium falciparum and Plasmodium malaria. It is due to due to resistant to treatment. It is due to the resistant to treatment. Okay. It is due to the resistance to the treatment. Okay. Uh, in Plasmodium falciparum and in Plasmodium malaria, recrudescence occurs. Okay. Morphology, morphology of uh, various type of plasmodium. Most important is the plasmodium falciparum. Okay, it has a crescent, crescent, crescent shaped or banana shaped gametocytes. Banana shaped gametocyte. First important point is crescent shaped or banana shaped gametocytes. Okay. Second important point about the uh, morphology of plasmodium falciparum is the three types of ring forms are present. Okay, three types of ring forms are present. Ring form, okay. That is first is the multiple ring form, multiple ring forms. Second is a coli, a coli form, a coli form, and third is a double dot, double dot ring form, double dot ring form. Okay. And uh, mostly the uh, in uh, as the plasmodium falciparum are mostly attached the mature plasmodium falciparum are mostly attached to the microcirculation. So in the in the uh, peripheral blood smear we mo we can uh, mostly see usually ring forms are only seen. Only usually ring forms are only seen. Okay. Uh, in plasmodium vivax and in plasmodium ovale. Plasmodium vivax and ovale, okay. Plasmodium vivax and ovale. Another one important point is the RBC size is enlarged. RBC size is enlarged, okay. In other types of plasmodium, RBC size is normal, whereas in plasmodium vivax and ovale, there is RBC size. Also, in plasmodium vivax and ovale, there is relapse, okay. Relapse. In plasmodium vivax and ovale, there is RBC size is enlarged. In plasmodium vivax and ovale, young cell preference. Young cell preference. Okay. In plasmodium oval, oval, okay, RBC shape is oval. RBC shape is oval. In others, no others round. Okay. In RBC in plasmodium oval only, the RBC shape is oval. In other types of plasmodium, the RBC shape is round. RBC shape is round. Now we can talk about the clinical features. Now we can talk about the with these all clinical uh, backgrounds. We can talk about the clinical features. Okay, clinical features. Firstly, in case of uncomplicated, okay, or acute, uncomplicated, and uh, then we can uh, go to the complicated one. Okay. In uncomplicated type of malaria, 
first is fever fever ok uh, in previous uh, days we used to have the quotidian torsion and quartan type of fever ok but nowadays we can we do not see these types of fever ok quotidian